David Ronald Irwin. You might not recognize the name, but you might recognize the face here. For those of you who don't recognize him, this is Mark from Zebra Corner, who is notoriously known for shitting on Chevys and awful commercials. And yet this guy did something just so horrible, so horrific, that I'm surprised not a lot of people have covered. As I'm about to show you, what he did is he tried to, for lack of a better term, he tried to meet up with a miner for, for, as EDP would say, get a cupcake and unlike EDP he actually got caught and arrested and is now a registered sex offender now I didn't want to believe this however with the amount of evidence that I've collected throughout the few months that I've known about this it's kind of hard to not think that maybe he did do these horrific things Now for the sake of this video, I'm going to be referring to this guy as Mark, as that's kind of how he was known online. And basically, the way I found out about this was through the comment section, and uh, at first I didn't want to believe it because I couldn't find any evidence as him actually doing such a heinous crime. However, when I looked up his actual name, David Ronald Irwin, I found, I found this website right here, and it may very well be that he did this. Now, at first I wanted to believe that maybe it was some jokesters who created this website and wanted to take advantage of the fact that he wasn't online and so they slandered his name but as more time goes on i feel like that might not be the case now i tried to confirm this and i don't personally own twitter so i didn't really try to kind of talk to him on there what i did is i kind of left a comment kind of just trying to like not accuse him but not necessarily um try and make it seem like uh, i was supporting him it's just i left a comment asking if he did what this website says and to my surprise he blocked me uh, i can no longer see his instagram so that was actually kind of sad and at first i thought maybe he deleted his account out of guilt but then i went on to an alternate instagram account that i had I looked him up and sure enough he was still there he had just blocked me which i feel like in my personal opinion kind of confirms and pushes the fact that he actually did what this website is claiming that he did now not a lot of people are actually talking about this in fact when you look up on youtube david ronald irwin nothing really comes up towards him when you look up mark nothing really comes up for him when you look up zebra corner the only video you find of anybody talking about him is just a reaction video of one of his videos shitting on a commercial so like i said not a lot of people are really discussing this which kind of surprises me because again he kind of did what edp did he tried to meet up with the miner and he kind of did what uh, mini lad did and call me carson where he was just talking to some Somebody that you really shouldn't have been talking to and unlike those other youtubers that i just mentioned he actually got arrested for it he has a file on him he is registered as a sex offender and yet nobody online is bringing this up i 100 believe he could come back to youtube tomorrow or today and he will have no flack for any of this another thing i would like to quickly bring up is the fact that one of his co-workers or co-founders or friends or whatever still has him listed on his instagram as being a co-creator with Mark. Now, I get it, right? You, you really shouldn't, I feel like this guy really shouldn't be ridiculed for still having something as minor as that on his Instagram. However, I'm pretty sure he must realize what Mark has done and he must realize that he maybe really shouldn't be associated with him because Again, Mark has done some pretty awful and deplorable shit. Now, I have left multiple comments on this guy's Instagram. However, he doesn't really tend to respond to them at all. Um, luckily, he hasn't blocked me, but he, he hasn't really been he hasn't really been acknowledging them. So I wonder how long they could keep up this facade of Mark is just away for a little bit, but he'll come back soon. Now, funnily enough, I don't think they could actually keep up this facade for too long. And that's the fact that Mark might actually be going to jail for quite a while. In fact. I heard a lot of people talking in the comments and on Reddit just saying how he might not be out until 2035 or 2030. Um, I'm not exactly sure what what it is. I haven't personally found any, anything that claims that he's going to be arrested until that time. So take this with a grain of salt. But yeah, it could be a while before he's out. So this brings me back to my point of how long do they think that they could hide this or push this away from the public before somebody decides to make a video on it and kind of expose this man for the awful shit that he has done and that's exactly what i'm here to do again i feel like in an age where a lot of youtubers have actually gotten flack for talking to minors this guy has not really been covered at all nobody has really talked about this besides a few people in the comments and some people on reddit who have figured it out but nobody else has really brought this up which is really concerning 
that's gonna do it for today's video guys hopefully this helps out in any way shape or form to help bring this information to the public and to either confirm or deny whether he did this and if he did do this to hopefully never give him a chance to have a, a career on YouTube or even outside of YouTube because he's this piece of shit scumbag and I don't believe he deserves to have any kind of redemption for the thing he did. The one thing I find funny is that Mark has been known for shitting on Chevys and yet he owns one so Mark you're making yourself look really bad here like either choose a side you hate Chevys or you, you love Chevys but come on man.